Ultra Necrozma. Can you defeat anything in one hit? Oh, I think that is gonna be it. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of energies. Take down that, take two prize cards instead. Yeah. How about several things in one hit? Uh, yeah, we can use Scorching Light too. Scorching Light GX! Spoilers. You just have to wait. Well, hello, Nogos. And the French rolls, it's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. Man, on this menu, I will serve you easy mode deck. Yeah, it's Ultra Necrozma. Why is this easy mode? Because you can blow up every Pokemon in the game easily. Like, usually there is a big giant cost to be able to do that, but for uh, Ultra Necrozma, nope. And you guys probably already seen this combo. And you're like, man, that is just so simple to do. There's like no evolution. The combo takes care of itself. Oh, yeah, so. You know, we're gonna go back, revisit it, make an easy deck template. One that works, so here we go, Ultra Necrozma. Well, let's talk about more detail what this card does. You may have known, but review, 190 HP. On the tanky side for a basic, still a basic, but more tanky than usual. And you'll see that it will keep me alive in certain matchups. 190 for an 80. Okay, so Photon Geyser is his main attack power. When you combine the power of a Psychic and Metal, you get a very explosive reaction. Chemistry, right? So, you uh, keep the metal energy, but you discard all basic psychic energies. And it does 80 damage in this way. So, three of them is a one-hit KO on everything. Two of them is a one-hit KO on stage one and basics. And we're gonna need three for some of the big guys we're going. So, we're going for full power. Alright, easy to do. And what does he do in this last one? He's like, you know, blowing up one guy is fun. How about we blow up everything? Except it's stuck as a GX, so Sky Scorching Light. When uh, the game is probably near the end of the game, both players have three, or actually six prize cards total. So somebody could be winning, somebody could be really losing, or even, either way, it gives you a six damage counter on everything. This does not in any way help out with his combo. But sometimes, just sometimes, there just happens to be a lot of babies on the bench. Enemy babies. And you can cheat and get a couple of prize cards extra that way. Yeah, you're gonna see those opportunities show up. You're like, it's not gonna happen. Oh, it will happen. So, moving on. So, all this energy discard, that's gotta be a big penalty, is it? Nope. Malamar, once during your turn, is like, oh yeah, I'm about to get some, uh, ferment some wine for you. There's some grapes, energy, psychic energies in the discard. He'll bring it back straight onto your bench, Pokemon. Oh, your bench, not your active where this guy's trying to fire. So we easily fix that with uh, Dawn Wing the Krasma. All he has to do is like, oh, I'm your taxi driver. Uber jumps in. And then with the free retreat, how are we doing that? We have a psychic energy. And we have a stadium that gives free retreat to psychic Pokemon. Actually, any Pokemon that has the psychic energy gets a free retreat. So he'll just use the ability to switch in, retreat back. And uh, then you'll be able to charge your Necrozma on the bench. Actually, he goes up, Necrozma goes back to the bench, you charge him up, then he retreats. And now just send him back out again. So pretty much it's free retreat with Ultra, sorry, Dawn Wings Necrozma. And he can fight too. Get two at KO here. A nice, better GX that shields himself. Immunity, full immunity shield for the next turn. And 180 is like, ah, 180 is not good enough. Just give him a choice, man. Or beast energy. Any energy for beast and 30 more damage. Yeah, so that is also a one headshot KO and a better GX most of the time. So unless you can get those babies out with this. So that is essentially the deck. This here's the deck template. We have the extra Lunala Prism Star just to make things uh, spicy. And here we go. Left out Coconut Master. The bench space is significant. You do not want to use all your bench space as much as possible for the Malamar. So we have uh, four of them here. And these, well, you'll see. You'll see how tight the bench space is in this deck. So, this is it. Let me show you what it can do. You bet it's gonna work? You bet it will. You bet it will. I forgot to do that. Anyways, let's get started. Would you like to go first? Yes, please. All right, I'm gonna play my cover. This is Twilight of the Gods from Fire Emblem Echoes. And what are we starting off with? Very good hand. Very, very good hand. We're also, we're going first, so... Can we 
if it combos nicely, we might even be able to attack twice. Hey, newest dragon! Versus next newest dragon, so let's do this. All right. Dang, these nest balls are good. Okay. Let's go ahead and destroy all the unnecessary draw supporters here. Get uh, get the big... <laughs> you need lots of these here. You have, still need more energy to discard. So hopefully we can destroy some with the mysterious treasure or even more ultra balls. There we go. Go ahead and destroy this mysterious treasure. Go on to hold on to this. All right, I think that is gonna be it there. All right, we might go for a two-hit KO here, likely because my combo isn't quite set up uh, yet. Ah, uh, you you threw away so many draw supporters. I I need a little bit more card pulls. I need a uh, yeah. Just a little bit more. We did discard an energy. We need the we need one more card down in the field. I think I didn't need that this next NK just yet. Wagner, that's gonna guarantee he's able to attack, but I'm not sure if he's able to one hit KO me. Also, look at this here. We can snipe this off before it can grow up and do anything to us. But let's see what he does here. He has Tempest. No, he can't Tempest. He actually hang on with that. I don't think he can. Did you Wagner? Because if you Wagner for rare candy and this, I just gotta get that critical car up. And we have four Guzmas to hold this, uh, hold the ground here, so. Alright, wish every game could start like that. Me too, man, me too. Lily into that, there's another one. He should activate that. There was two energies here. So what he might do is retreat and use his Tempest GX. That might be a smart move. But he's not gonna do that, and I fortunately can counter that right now. Let's do this. Let me think of what cards I need. I'm gonna go ahead and do this here. I need the Altar of the Moon. Okay. I'm gonna have to destroy this instead. I have to think out this combos. Sorry. Get this up. Apply this. Pull this out now. Send this guy because it has the free retreat. Then use Malamar to grab the energy and put it to you. It's like, I or eat some grape juice. Mm, I love grape juice. Put this up here. Banana Master to combo three more cards. Yeah! And even more energies for later. And though we retreat and we are not going to let him use this. Because this gets him lots of energies which he needs. If he doesn't have that, he will starve. He will starve. And we're gonna, we want him to starve. Now we got plenty of energies and just wait. I just gotta discard all this stuff. Man, that new, that new, uh, that new co supporter might be nice. All right, so next, we're gonna be able to ch get this new dragon out. We shut him down. It's like, Donald, I'm a stage two, but I'm a stage one. I'm still faster than you, so. This time we may not have Guzma, he's got Tempest. And get a nice big draw here. We're gonna shut this down right here. That will sink two of his energies, which is still good. Oh, excellent, excellent. Two Malamars. Better than one with Banana Master to pull you more stuff? Excellent. Very nice. What's going to happen now? Invasion. Feed me. You got it. I feed you, buddy. Feed. Feed him grape juice. Here, have more. It's like, I can never have the grape juice. I love grape juice. Mmm. I think that's enough to KO that. But we're going to dump it up anyways. Now we're gonna dump it on you, because that's enough. That's already enough on you. You might be able to attack. Hey, but you want more bananas? Grapes and bananas? So much fruits and vegetables. This is so healthy. Actually, please stop giving me these cards now. Here we go. Photon Geyser. Come on, younger dragon. I'm still the boss. I'm still number one. And I came in the last expansion pack, too. So I guess I'm the newest dragon of all. So there we go. Kill the Grooms ASAP. I wish... Uh, right now, we're in a surplus of energies and not supporters right now, so... Mysterious treasure. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a few to do. So, yeah, I got some dragons. But does it land? It does, it's not that sweet of a combo. It just gets you uh, Rayquaza. It doesn't, you know, combo into many different stuff. It might actually get the Prism Star Latios, which is good here. Oh, he missed... Oh, he still gets energy here. All right, well... I'm gonna take another prize card if he does not get me, but I think... Uh-oh, the Grubin's out. 
We, uh, we'll go, we'll look for another Guzma, but man, I'm really missing Macargo, man. Macargo, I'll give you a spot. Yeah, two Malamars, I might take a, yeah, two Malamars out and put in a Macargo if I can. All right, we can go for a two hit here, but uh, I think this is gonna be what, I'll take a uh, two prize cards if he doesn't get me this turn. He might get me this turn. He might just land enough energies. And that would be bad. That would be bad. He still needs a lot. Hang on, that's five. That's 150 right now. He needs two more. Two, okay, so now you still need two more. That's still rough. You might be able to throw down a couple more Necroz. Uh, okay. He's gonna summon that out. That adds another one, so that's one. 80. He needs a choice man or another one now. Then that'll get it unless it somehow doesn't. No, it'll definitely get it. Wow, it caught up fast. It needs one more source of bonus damage. If I live, that will be big. Alright, that's good. You throw the stadium off, that's great. Because I got another one. I couldn't throw this off my hand here. One more energy, one more choice man. That's all he needs. Can will I live? Okay, well. That might get it for him, and this will save me because of this dead, totally dead brick tan. All right, so we, that Marshadow high five. It's like, thank you. He's like, gun. He's a secret. He's a secret. Oh, I'm actually weak to fairies. Dragon break. I live, and that is huge. That was huge. Invasion. Psychic Recharge. Psychic Recharge, that's all he needs. He does not need a choice, man. We'll go ahead and load you up the choice, man, though. I need another Necrozma, but I need it now. So we'll go ahead and load this up here. I don't have a free retreat because of the stadium, so let's see. I'll go ahead and load us up right now, too. I'm gonna go ahead and use a manual retreat here. I think this should be enough. There we go. That's a bit of a waste, but that's how it goes. You lived another turn. You will take another two prize cards while my opponent still has not managed to take one. All right. It's good. We did kill his momentum at the start with the Vicapult. So... What do you think about uh, the unknown? It's gonna be a good gimmick deck. It's gonna be fun for a match, and then I don't think you could use that consistently to win. I don't. I mean, if it, it might win worlds, it could just suddenly do that. And no one will get it. But uh, for now, it's a little difficult. Everyone knows it's a little hard to do. All right, new uh, new Rayquaza. I think I'll be able to charge this up. This should be game here. This should be game. This should be game. All right, we're gonna load up Beast Ring here. Not Beast Ring. We're gonna do Psychic Recharge, load up our mighty Golden Dragons. Pull this, and that should be it. He's like, nope, nope, for sure. He's like, no, I don't get the chance to attack. He's like, ah, you gotta, you gotta love this all game. Good job, good job, Rayquaza. I'm sorry. <laughs> good job, Ultra Necrozma. What'd you call me? Yeah, I meant you, you man. You did good. I like you. You're awesome. You're hot. Okay, you're getting creepy, man. Let's move on before this gets weird. Welcome to another Ultra Necrozma match. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna play my cover. This is Azura Song. Can fire emblem fates. All right, what do we have here? We don't got any draws. Hmm. I do need the stadium. I also can toss it out too for an ultra ball. I need to shrink my hand still as much as possible so Guzma can go. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need that mysterious treasure after this. So this is the only way to summon Banana Masterish. All right, so we'll throw this down here, and we are gonna throw that energy off. Why? Because I can get three pulls of Banana Master and start my Inke line. So I'm going to be working with only two NKs this game here. 
And oh my gosh, that if I when that grows up, that's gonna be a very, very big monster. So we did pull a draw support up. Need that in case spot. Can't throw you down yet. Maybe later though. So I'll throw this in front of you. And we'll do this here. In front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so choice man, go ahead. He's like, Donald, I wanna be played. Alright, I'm gonna leave this be. You know the new sightseeing will be pretty cool here. Alright. Get this adjusted. Huh. Sounds weird after you change the ear pads. Must have done something. Anyways, let's keep going. Alrighty then. Maybe something's loose. But everything's good. Metagross. He's also going second, so I'm not gonna do where at least. Oh. Okay. Okay. Didn't, didn't expect to see that. Now he's he's catching up real good. <laughs> okay, so that that is a very good pull for uh, your your first turn Beldum. You get Lily. You build up your bench reasonably, and it's gonna go even bigger. Steven's resolve. Oh, could be no, 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 no. I thought I was like, man, it could be the new Metagross. I was like, nope. If you see that, there's definitely the big Metagross here. So, I think so he can just toss another Beldum down. That's like the only thing he can do. Yeah, and then wait for next turn to rare candy to do all that. So, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna drop down altars of the moon. We don't have another energy, and I don't. I need another NK space. So these are dead. Okay, so I do get an NK space, but I don't get any energies. You know what? This can go. This can go. We're gonna have a Malamar available now. And I can't attack just yet. That's gonna give him quite a bit of space here. So let's go ahead and do this. Grab the energy. And load it onto Necrozma here. So, a bit slow for me. Alright, that is it. So, I'm gonna leave it be. And let's see what we can, uh, what, what go goes on from here. Now, the worst thing possible is he gets a couple of Metagrosses up. Or even just one. There it goes. Probably the first one right there. To be able to use his GX attack, get the line going. And we need lots. Oh my gosh, several Metagrosses. This is why I'm starting to look scared. They're very big HP and oh, copycat. So we don't use those because of that situation. You don't get sometimes you don't get much. Okay, so let's see what else here. Um, there are lots. There are gonna be lots of energies in my deck. So I'm that's why I'm worried about the pulls in the future. And uh, Ultra Necros would definitely can I get charged up right now? Uh, let's see. That's it. That's pretty good. We still have a little bit of time. We're gonna sit here for the biggest draw. We want to shuffle these back. And let's see what we can do. Okay. It looks like this is gonna be the first attacker. I'm gonna put the mental energy on it right now. We're gonna go ahead and discard another psychic. So another psychic come through here on here. I'm gonna save this for next turn. So I'll just grab this right here. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just psychic recharge this up. And there's still a lot more energy, so we'll wait here and let it be. Do I jump in now? No, I'm still gonna. Uh, I need more energy problem. Yeah. So, you're not. Hopefully, I can get you back. We'll put the energy right here to retreat. You go home, bring him home, bring guys. Uh, like, he's not ready. Send this guy up. So, luckily, I'm ultra the cross, so I'm not regular the cross, but that's why I get the full damage here. Alrighty, so Lily, he's... Uh, there's no energy to discard just yet. That's good. That is good. We have a little bit of time. So how much any energies do I actually need? Let's see. I think three. Need one more. One more energy. That's good. So taking down Metagross, being able to one-shot them is great. But look, he Ultra Ball two. Two of those. So he could get a very large attack on this guy. The thing is, he also needs ten more damage. So he needs one more card. Now, we know what that missing card is. It's Delmise. Yeah, so if he doesn't get the Delmise, hmm, good for me. So, he's got three Metagross. He will be able to attack, but he needs one more card. And you know, even though, even if I survive, that's still okay. I don't have a max potion or anything, but it's still good. So what we need is just like two more energies. One in being in the discard or something like that. Alright, so. He think he's going to just straight attack me right here. We could use this to switch too. So basically, what's just energy deficit? We're gonna hold on here. And what do we get? We need a psychic energy. Okay, Malamar. Let's go ahead and Cynthia here. 
They are all energies. How am I gonna do this? I need this. It's not enough. I need that last energy right here to attack anyways. Depends if I want to use this again. We're gonna do the invasion ability here. We just have to buy a little bit of time. I can't send them out just yet. So I'll have to leave it be. That might get this thing. <laughs> I think he's gonna retreat and KO with this Metagross here. Yeah. Still, you know, these things are kind of big. And that should be all my Necrozmas. But, you know, I'm keeping this. I'm letting him have this so both of these can attack. Yeah, I mean, you still have a chance to attack, so. All right. So basically, we just... We have we have 14 energy cards in our deck. If they were just back there, they were just back there. You just deal with it like now. So now he sees a hey, an opening. Well, yeah, you gotta get the first KO here. Retreat, send that out. He's like, what are you doing? You're just giving me a free card. You could have said a banana master, but I needed to pull. I needed to pull. So I'm gonna be able to take this out right here. And uh, yeah, he won't be able to trigger this. What well, I'm a little afraid of is this uh, sun eclipse right here too, because that's a uh, beast winning. And he can do that, so, hmm, all right. All right, so we're also going to have an extra energy here. Why did we even throw the energy there? It was going to die. Good point, good point. So I can load up a bonus energy in the Malamar, that's why. I was clearly thinking of that. So he's actually good. Well, that's less prize cards for you. I would not have done that. I would have taken the two prize cards. Okay, we're going to leave that be there. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of lucky he did that, because why? I have two X sets of extra Malamars. However, it will slow down my rate of fire. And, uh, yeah, I won't get that energy in the discard here. So, he'll take the first Brass card, but I'll also take a Metagross down with him. So, that's good. And he'll, he'll, it's gonna trigger that, which is okay. So, let's see what I do here. Well, this is the only thing that can take it down right now, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. It has all the energy it needs. I can't get any extra pulls here, so I think that is going to be it. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of energies. Take down that. Take two prize cards instead. Yeah. Now, maybe after he pulls the Sun Eclipse, I won't be... That's where my energies are. See? I was like, no! What am I for not liking this? Because... <laughs> All oh, the back, that's all mixed up. All right, so now uh, we want to, let's see, an Ultra Ball, Mysterious Treasures, any of that stuff to discard our uh, cards here. It's going to be real nice when the new Insight Seer comes out. And uh, that worked out so well in, um, in, the, uh, in the pre release. Yeah, I was like, man. Especially for cards that need the uh, discards. All right, so we'll do that. He'll also keep uh, another energy. So let's see, he'll take two prize cards. He'll be winning. I probably have to give him Banana Master after this. Why charge this card up? Or this guy. You have resistance to me, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, that's why That's why you can't take this out, even if you had a choice, man. So go ahead and load this up here. Oh, yeah, I didn't use his GX. That's good. and dump all these here. This hand is really, really dead. I can throw this away, but I can't really throw that. Alright, definitely already have energies in the discard, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw, shrink the cards that I can't rid get rid of out of my hand here. It might be time for a Lunala. We'll go ahead and just throw you down here. Go go ahead and load uh, load this up. This is all it needs to get a KO. Doesn't need anything else extra. I'm gonna try to get one more pull off of Banana Master right here. Need that at the start. 
Not right now. All right, we're gonna do Photon Geyser, take two more prize card. That's another Ultra Metacross put down, so... It's gonna get scary. It's another Ultra Metacross, so good, good, good. Now I just need a Metal Energy. Okay, so three Metal Energies, there might be one Beast Energy somewhere left. All right. It's holding to a lot of cards, a lot, a lot, a lot of cards. So it's... Oh, having a Goose Buzz could be very bad. Okay, so well, one Energy, these two abilities. It's gonna proc and Lunala's gonna have to come out and try to charge somebody up after this. Yeah, it's the most tankiest here, but all he needs is a uh, Guzma to win. And uh, he it's here. Well, actually, there are two Guzmas in this card. Don't you hate them when they start to start? Yeah, so. Man, what do we need? We definitely need it. He's in the discard uh, much sooner in the game, but uh, stop complaining about it. You keep saying that, Donald. Alright, so. Uh, they should have. Yeah, the abilities will trigger twice. I'm going down. But I'll be able to get most of my energies in the discard. A lot of it back. So we'll load up these two guys here to fight. Maybe Ultra Necrozma too. Alrighty then. It'd be nice if this was loaded up instantly and we could just uh, finish the game there. But uh, that's not possible. So when he attacks, he's going to have one, two, three energies. I can recover... Five energies back, so it's, it's still a lot. It's still a lot. It's still resistance is still here to worry about. I do have my GX too. Actually, if, the, if you could use your GX attack, you, I would win the game right now. Yeah, if you could use your GX attack, I would win. So give me a metal energy. I need to evolve this Malamar next turn, so that's why I'm throwing it down now. We're gonna retreat. We're still gonna load up our Ultra here. I'm gonna use Full Moon Star. That's gonna recover all the energies I have. Let's see. How do I want to distribute this? Like that, like that. I don't think I think uh, there's not gonna be enough energies for me to side storm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that nine is only uh, 180. Yep. So that's that's way too far up. So all I need is to goose one of these guys, and I uh, have the damage here to take it out. Okay, and I also need to pull metal energy. So I'll be able to still shrink my hand, maybe get a banana master pull. But all I need is a Guzma or one shot this. Actually, yeah, if you get it still mines, that's enough damage to take down a Lunala Prism Star. I would not be able to take that out. I would not be able to survive that, so that would be game. That would be game. That would be all the energies being in the middle of the deck. Rare candy. Oh, man. So we can... Re re that's not a Guzma. That's not a Guzma. We might have a little time to pull that metal energy. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 would, that would be a pretty good comeback, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. What's wrong, Donald? The sounds of his sounds a little different for a while. I don't know. I don't know. He is going to retreat. Send a Cortana out. That's only worth one prize. And like I said, the GX would win me. Scorching Light would win me the game here. That's, that's smart. That is smart. And if, if he does pull the Guzma, it will be game. Divine Paper. Well, that's only going to do 40 here. But he doesn't want to give. He's scared Ultra Necrozma is going to one-shot him. I see that thinking. He's like, yeah, of course. I'm Ultra Necrozma. Of course I'll take you down. All right. So what do we have here? Okay, we can evolve this.
I'm gonna pull an Ultra Ball, and that's it. I don't wanna pull anything else. I wanna just pull Metal Energy and just win right now. Tell me there's Metal Energy and a Beast Energy in my deck. Well, just pull me one of those and I'll win. Otherwise... Dang. Well, I would have just loved to done that. Moon Eclipse GX. So now I'm shielded, and we'll have to go the, the hard way. Still pull that... I mean, I will still win if I pull that Metal Energy, but I gave him a little extra time. That would have been cool. Scorching Light, get a KO. But I'm bad at shuffling my deck, so that's how it is. That is how it is. Uh, let me see. You didn't put any energies up. It was mine either way. So, at this point, I think it is not going to be another Guzma. We're good here. Oh, man. I mean, that's good. I'm really clutching it here. So, we're going to Cynthia and try to pull that Beast Energy and uh, whatnot up. I think we'll be okay. Right now, I'm immune to damage. I pop my GX instead of the winning GX, and he's going to give the game to me. Yes! Oh, that was close. That was a close, close match. Good game. Good, good game. <laughs> Just a Guzma to win there. Was it there? Was it in his deck? I saw two Guzma in the discard pile. Nope. There was another Guzma. Let's see, there's a pal pad. There's not a pal pad, so he just confined it. And he was like, dang, that guy's gonna pull the alternate cross mile and just blow me up. Well, I still had to find the energy, so... My energy shuffling was really bad that game. All the psychic energies in the middle, metal energies in the back. Ah. So that's the bad thing about alternate Necrozma. You have to deal with two energy sources. All right, moving on, moving on. Usually isn't so bad though. Okay, okay. Yes, please. Yes, I like to go first. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna play my cover of this is. Hmm, I can't play a fairy fairy uh theme. Let's do action battle. From Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Ultra Necrozma, you want to be up front? Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll leave this up here. We could probably use this energy as a retreat and load this up. This is a very good starting hand, though. Excellent. Excellent for Ultra. Very, very nice. All right. So you get three Malamars up front. Let's go ahead and put down uh, something else that we need, which is this guard. We need free retreats. All right. I'm going to load this up because we might actually just start attacking with this here. And let's go ahead, play Lily. You got three Malamars. You got... That's everything you need, buddy. All right. And the free retreat stating, which we're not going to do. I think that's it. This is good. I'm going to go ahead and load this up here. If he has a tour move when he wants it up, I'll let him go ahead and take that right there. All right. So, what is this? ho -Oh, uh Uh-oh, we might see Rashium GX here. Coconut Master into Kiawe. Woo! I think that's what's going to happen. So, it's going to be up to me to try to get uh, enough... You know, enough to fight back. What I'm worried about if he even passed the Guzma to follow up. Which I hope not. I hope not here. Kiawe. All right. Kiawe. Energy goes here. It's like, oh, I'll have to fight with the Lele if this Ultra Necrozma gets charged up. Which I'm just missing. Uh, I'm missing energies. Yeah, I'm missing energies. So we might have to try to shrink our hand enough to pull it with Lily here. All right. So what are you going to do now? I have to shrink my hand. There's no way. I have to drop everything here. So let's play this just to drop it off. Let's play this. We have to dump everything. We're dumping this too because Lily is uh, our main draw supporter in this hand. So I'm dropping it, dropping. Thank you for the bits, Mojo Dolo. Welcome back. All right, let's throw this here. And we are going to go ahead and Lily. Got a metal energy, but it's only, uh, it's not what I need right now. 
So I'm not ready to fight this turn. I will just charge this up. And he might at this point, you know, try to two remove me. So I'll let it be. He can't do much. Even if he takes a Dullwing Necrozma, I still think I'll be able to catch up. So what I'm starting to see is, man, I'm not hitting, landing my Psychic Energies, which I, I need those. So we're going to try to add in more Psychic Energies instead of Dinners here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. No, you are. I am landing Energies. Reasonably, I should, but I need a lot more Psychic so I can start comboing them faster. All right. Waiting for this here. Ho oh, well, Lily. Nice. Alright, so he got off. Uh yeah, this I could have comboed it. That might be a nice recipe to or, or you know, just We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This turn. We need two more energies. We need one more psychic energy in the discard. I did invest in this ho -Oh as a retreat. So he's like, yeah, this is the problem. He's not gonna well, he's stuck here. Alright, so we're gonna thin now. Gonna destroy these two things I don't want. We're gonna get another Malamar up. So we are able to set up a Malamar very efficiently, but we need energies. We gotta get energies to attack. Like, I'm hungry, Donald. Feed me. I'm trying, baby. Pull me my energies, and I will. Okay, that's another one. That's only one more energy. I still need another one to, to take him out. Otherwise, I jump in immediately right here. So go ahead and load this up. We're gonna go ahead and find. Oh, there's not another Malamar. I might get a Mimikyu because you might get some easy, good, 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 good value out of this. Oh, the Malamar is up here, man. So let's see what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna let it be. I'm actually, there might be another opportunity to dump this. It's okay, I'll leave it be. I can get one more energy card. I'm gonna do that. And after that, we need one more Psychic. So Steel feels like I'm dying to get Psychic Energy cards still. But once you can start recycling them, it'd be good. So we'll have to take a see what we have too much of, then remove that there. Okay. Goose was like, yes! I got the threat! I found it! He was too slow charging his Necrozma, which is kind of true. In no way, we'll just charge this up next. <laughs> or let me see, Phoenix Burn. Yeah, I still need a Choice Man. Something with a Choice Man to KO. So this looks like my next attacker here. So I'll go ahead and load this down. Okay, this Mal this uh, Mimikyu looks like it'll be a good trump, good help. And look at this. We got a Beast Energy. We got another Malamar. We have free retreat through this combo here. So I'll be able to just knock him out here. And he may not have momentum after this. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do second recharge. Load up a very, very strong. This is gonna. This is this is mighty. Actually, that's still not enough energy. Are you serious? Yeah, it is. It isn't. Okay. In that case, I'll just force to discard another energy in. We're not gonna really grab anything. It might be Banana Master. It might be another Ultra Necrozma. I'm mean, going out pretty uh, well without Ultra Necrozma here. Uh, Banana Master. So here we go. Let's toss this over here. And now he's loaded up. And now you know how the retreat combo works. You just go ahead and abuse invasion. And uh, retreat. Here we go. That's that. And Photon Geyser. First KO of the game. 240. is like 180. Well, I can do that. That's even better. Okay. So I guess he maybe he had the Guzma beforehand, but he didn't have enough damage. So he's got to keep momentum. I got Malamar. It's like, yeah, we'll keep you going. We'll feed you grape juice. Permanent Grape Chew, he's like, ah, I don't have enough energies to attack. So, uh, he didn't have, uh, he lost one there. We were able to just get a quick win. Yes, finally! That's our first win today. Woo! Inke, Dust Noir. Cool. Let's get started. All right. So, uh, welcome to another Ultra Necrozma match. I'm going to play my cover. This is Dearly Beloved from Kingdom Hearts. All right, let's go. Ultra Necrozma, you can help go ahead and have this. You know what? I don't see any GXs. I'm going to worry, you know, that might not actually be a GX. This looks like, mm, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and start getting our Inke up. Why? Because you love the grape juice, don't you? Well, uh, you mean energy restoration as grape juice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have no idea what you're talking about. You talk about something weird? Uh, maybe. All right, so what do we want now? All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's guard the metal energy. 
And we're also going to get another NK down. Because more NKs means more energies. So let's go ahead and toss this here. And Banana Master, you wait. I mean, you are worth the bench space, but right now... Hang on that, Banana Master. I'll throw you down once, you know, I start trading a couple of Pokemons away. Alright, so Apricore Maker starting up front. It's actually pretty good at starting up front for any time. Yeah, double nest ball. So we're going to see, let's see, more NKs. He's doing the same thing. I just got to go first here. Alright, and if I do get to go attack... Hmm, I'll have to retreat this somehow. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, we'll pull a switch card or something. Or, uh, you know, manual energy. So, leaving this here, it's all Dust Noir. Dust Noir does evolve into a powerful Stage 2, but Stage 2 decks, they are uh, a little bit painful to deal with right now. Let's, Donald, you gotta find that formula, man. Okay, 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 but for now, I'm rooting for my enemy right now. I'm rooting, because if you do, do it. And I'm like, oh, man. You're the master. Let me learn. Let me learn how to do it. So, following up here, it looks like, uh, well, I'm... Okay, let's let's keep going here. Let's go ahead and pull everything down. Banana Master, I changed my mind. I'm pulling you down now. Last spot has to go for uh, certain uh, Dawn Wings. Alright, so we got both Malamars up. We're gonna throw the... Uh, we're gonna throw this down here. And we're just going to wait for a Psychic Energy, which we have none in the Discord at the moment. So I'm going to leave it be right there. Alright, so right now, if, as you can see, the problem with Banana Master on the bench, you can't set another Ultra to cross, but one of these have to fight. Alright, so he knows. Man, this is this is really easy deck to set up. And, uh, yeah. It's going to... Uh-oh, there's the Sclops. He might retreat. I didn't throw the stadium down, so he can't use it to retreat. Like, Ghost no go home. All right, Ghost grow safely up in the back. How does Ghost grow up? They're, you know, let's not talk about Ghost and uh, their their uh, their lifestyle or their... Yeah, we're going to leave him be here. He's like, Can I go home, please? I was like, no, he's like, got a mean face. I'm going to go through this wall after this and hunt you. And Ludon's like, I'm not having any of this. Look, how, look how pretty I am. Whee! Okay, so, moving on. Yep, Dust Noir is getting charged up. The more bench base I use up, the more damage it does. Uh, it might be enough to one-shot this. I believe it is. I believe it is enough to one-shot me. So, we will see. That is loaded up, ready to go. And once again, I'm rooting for this Stage 2 non-GX deck over my Ultra Deck Rob. So He's going to send this out early. Are you sure you want to do that? doing what are you doing you might have messed up you can't evolve twice in a row I'll put a heartbreak here because I know what you were trying to do okay because now you lose that card let's go ahead and find an energy we just get an energy we are able to knock this out there it is invasion Sorry, Prism Star man, it's not your time yet. Photon Geyser. And that goes. That goes down. Yeah. Well now you gotta get that another Dust Noir up. Yeah, you gotta you gotta keep track of that. Alright, that comes out. I was like, ah, oh, gotta get another one up. Mm-hmm. So let's do this. Apricorn Maker. And Dust gonna get double timer balls for these guys to evolve up. So he'll have plenty of energies, I'm pretty sure. So one is going to buy time, and you'll need to be able to, you have to recycle these. Wow, double heads. Well, everything's going to evolve this turn for sure. All right. So we only can, our, we, uh, where the energies go? I have no idea, man. Uh, all the energies are in the, uh, still in my deck still. One heads, one tails. So he's, I mean, if he had got candy, if you got candies, man, you, you got to feed them. Grape juice and stuff. So... You're charging up the front Pokemon. Put a basic Pokemon from the discard to your bench. That makes sense. I mean, you got energies to spare. You can get set up more Dust Noirs. So now he should not make that mistake, or he should try to get some rare candies out of here. All right. Let's do it. Dark Guidance. This uh, puts a, another, uh, put a Dust Skull on the bench. Okay, so are we gonna just grab another prize card? Yes, we are. We're gonna perform the combo here. 
Unfortunately, there's only one Psychic Energy. The rest are still in my deck. This time around, we're just gonna go hunt the one that has the most uh, energies here, because I am just need to uh, shrink my hand a bit. Photon Geyser. Alright, let it be, and we'll take, go ahead and just take a uh, prize card. Mysterious treasure, good! I can get rid of all the junk in my hand here. Yeah, so this counter is being bricked up. Absolutely. How do we fix that? Uh, leave it be for here for now. Alright! He's setting this up, but you need the big dust skull, which would do lots of damage if, you know, you got the candy. But once again, he's setting this up. All right, well, I've taken two prize cards already. Ultra the Crossbow. I ain't, not, I ain't afraid of ghosts. Whatever, dude. Ghost, nothing. Judge, I will help me out. And those, uh, those uh, dust noirs he pulled, uh, I'm sorry, dust. Yeah, dust noirs he pulled get shuffled up. There are my energies now. There they are. And actually, a full Dust Nord showed up. Nice, with a Judge, too. That's one of the lowest uh, draw cards. So, this is only dependent on my bench. My bench is completely maxed out. Ultra the Cross was, I ain't no fatal ghost. You gotta have a choice, man, or something. Okay. So, we're gonna do the same, perform the same combo again. Looks like I'm replacing a, a replacement Dust Nord here, too. Alright, so... This is our maximum limit. We can only hit for um, 200, which is enough to KO this here. All right, gonna be a nice, nice, yeah, nice and simple. Here we go, simple and clean. <laughs> okay, no, let's, let's 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 just move on from that. Okay, you have no idea. All right, there we go, and this comes out. Oh, hello! How many times have we seen you up front? That wasn't me. That was my twin brother. And twin sister. Well, I'm back again. Let's see how many are these in there. A lot. You gotta play some rescue stretchers to keep the game going now. And now these guys are like I better fight with the psychic sphere. This thing is almost dead. Pretty much. Now the judge. You see the judge can cripple you. That was the lowest draw, and then it, your opponent gets to draw one more after. So that's why I'm like I'm not stuck. Nope. Dead. I'm dead. Like no, no, no worries. I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's put the metal energy on you. Let's go ahead and use Psychic Recharge. Get you up. Let's go ahead and use Psychic Recharge. Go ahead and get... Did you even need that? Good boy. Okay, you know, I kind of like my hand right now the way it is. So let's just go ahead and use Photon Geyser. That's an overkill. Alright, Ultra the Crossma, just... Take care of these baby Pokemon. See, I'm still rooting for you, man. But right now, the Malamars are doing, you know, they, they just can't keep up with that stage 2 setup. The energy cost. It's just it's just a bit tough. You gotta re have something real nice, man. Something really, really nice. I think. Yeah. No, I, I don't want to go back to Dust Noir. Alright, so. NK. No, not going to have another fighter up. At this point, we do already do a... We'll just drop an energy on or something. Judge again. So he's actually giving me pretty good flow here. And you can see that bench space. You know, really could be a... Uh, should be a... Yeah, we only have one free bench space in this deck. Two Malamar needs to be down. This needs to be down. This needs to be down. It'd be nice if a second Ultra was down too. So it's like the one... These two. One of these two must not be here. Alright. Excuse me. Well, he's loaded. If he can, you can rare candy out, that's good. But you need that rescue stretch or pretty much the candy here. All right, right now I'm going to throw the Malamars off because they are absolutely useless. I don't even want anything. Just get off my hand. You know what? We are not going to waste these energies that you could potentially get for free-ish. I'm going to leave one for Ultra Necross because I, I, I don't know. I might need it. All right, you can have a choice band. No, yeah. Yeah, we can use Scorching Light, too. Scorching Light GX! Woo! I didn't even realize that. I never used Scorching Light, but... Well, it lined up there. I never used Scorching Light. I did not even see that till the end there. I was gonna keep on attacking him. My bad, my bad. Scorching Light it is. Alright. 
Stage 2 decks, you do it. Stage 2 deck of Pokemon. I am rooting for you, man. Except God of War. I don't know. That thing's, that thing's just monster. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Well, looks like you reached the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is time we rate this deck. So let's stick it to him. All right, Ultra to Quasar, what do we love about you? This combo is easy. It is easy. It's going to stay in standard for a while. And you basically just get one-shot kills on everything. Yeah, there is very, very little overhead. I mean, you got to fill up your bench, but stage ones, easy deck deading. It's just going to get better over time. So this is a 5 out of 5. It's just one of the best basic GX combos in the game. Truly. Truly, it's faster and a little bit more efficient to rest, except with the regular Necrozma. But it's still up there, really up there. So damage, can you KO everything? Well, you did take out, there's no resistance to Dragon. So Metagross, Sogaleo, you're like, you will not be afraid of those GX decks. So whatever, five out of five, truly, you will get them. Uh, defense, this is where it hurts. This is where like, ah, man. Why is this this thing dominating? It's only 190 HP. And a lot of decks can keep up and do 190 HP of damage. So that's why, you know, he's not up there. Something balances him out, and that's the part, the defense. And if you could get him, like, you know, just tweak a bit so you one-shot these, you're okay. So the reliability, I'm going to give it a 4.5. It's still, I mean, you could get a bad shuffle like I think of the Metal Gross game. That was, uh, it wasn't as efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, you're mixing up metals with psychic. So I'm taking a little bit off. However, the overall combo and setup of this deck is still really, really good. So I'll still give it a 4.5 because it's fairly, fairly reliable. Maybe, maybe I might take a little bit off because of the dual energy thing. But uh, around there, around the ballpark, we're reliable. We can play with that a bit for the final rating. I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. I'm... Confident, I would love to play this deck anytime. I was like, hey, you want to play against anybody? I was like, okay, yeah, let me take my Necrozma deck. It's actually easy to use. I mean, actually, think about opening that Necrozma box. It's not too much. Uh, I was like, I'm going to make you as my next deck, buddy. Just get some Alamars. All right, so that is it uh, for our Ultra Necrozma. What are we doing? You know, that's enough GXs in a row. We got to do a non-GX deck. So uh, the one I really want to do, actually, I have two. I don't know which order I'll do them in, so uh, I haven't done them yet. One is Quagsire, because did you know this thing can fight? And the other one that you probably haven't seen before is uh, Heatmore. Heatmore. I think there are actually two good ones, but the one I want to do is the newest one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, what can you do with this? I'll show you. I'll show you. So one of these two, a non-GX deck now. And uh, yeah, that'll be up for next time. So that is uh, it for now. So, you know, my closing deal, please. Like, subscribe, because you could get more awesome, awesome content. Lost Thunder is coming soon. Uh, I stream live on Twitch. Though likely, there is going to be one tonight. So you're watching it now, today, right around 5 or 6. And it's a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, we got to catch up. We got to do that. We got to come back. Uh, and uh, let's see, Patreon, if you support me on Patreon, Discord, Twitch, wherever. It helps out with everything happened so uh thank you very much there covers are on itunes spotify wherever you like to stream your music and i think that's it for now so thank you to girls differentials take it easy stay safe we'll see you guys next time depending when you're watching this, i might see you tonight for heat more all right thank you bye-bye